Hello friends, this video on statistics part 7 is brought to you by examfa.com, no more PA from exam. 30 children, 30 children were asked about the number of hours they spent watching TV programs in the previous week. And the results were given. Do we have to create a group frequency distribution table? Class width is 5. And then based on that we have to tell how many children actually watched for 15 or more hours in that last week. So minimum value we see is uh, 1 and the maximum I could see is 70. And the range they have given 5 to 10 that means we can start 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15 and 15 to 20. It is always too good to take the overlapping uh, class interval and that's what we have taken. Right? Each class width is 5. See, this also tells, see, the class width is given 5 and the interval is given. Right? So, if you subtract the uh, upper limit minus lower limit, you get 5. That means it is a overlapping frequency because we know that for overlapping lapping, uh, class, right? size is what? Upper minus lower limit. For non-overlapping, size what? Upper minus lower plus 1. So with this data also we can make out it is overlapping class. Okay. If they have given the width this 6, then you would have to make it as non-overlapping class. But since they have given it as overlapping class because based on the formula and based on these two data we can make out that this is an overlapping class. So let's start. 0 to 5. So 1, 6, 2, 3. 1, 6, 2, 3. 5, 12, 5. 5, 12, 5. 8, 4, 8. 8, 4, 8. 10, 3, 4. 10, 3, or actually it would be like this, 3, and then 4, 12, 8, 2, 12, 8, 2, 15, 1, 17, 15, 1, 17, 6, 3, 2, 6, 3, 2, 8, 5, 9, 8, 5, 9, all here, 6, 8, 7, 6, 8, 7, all here, 14, 12, 14 will be here, no, 14 is here, 12 is also here, okay, so let's see the values here, this is 10, this is 13, this is 5, and this is 2. We add this, maybe 3, 4, 7, 30. And we are correct because they were 30 children. So we got 30 data here. So this is my group frequency distribution for this particular data. And from this we can say that, what? We can see a lot of things. We can see that maximum number of students watch 5 to 10 hours. Okay. Students who watch television for more than 15 hours, they are two people. They are two students who actually or there are two children who actually watch for more than 15 hours. Children who watch for less than 5 hours are 10. So, using this we can actually tell, we can comment, but using the raw data, it is difficult to comment. See, even to find the maximum, we had to struggle so much. Okay? And with this also, lot of, this, with this information, a lot of things can be done. Maybe the TV company can use this to promote different kinds of TV. Maybe the teacher using this data can now tell the parents of these two kids that please do something and make sure that your kids spend more time studying than watching TV because excess TV is not good for health. Let's take one more example. The company is a company, it's a factory which manufactures car batteries. And these batteries have different life. So the life of 40 such batteries is recorded just for observation and these are in years. We have to create a group frequency distribution for this interval 
size is 0.5 and uh, starting value is 2 to 2.5 and if you see if you subtract 2.5 to 2 you what you get is 0.5 that means it is an overlapping class and uh, starting is 2 what is the maximum value so let's see the minimum value first minimum value I could get is 2.2 .2, less than 2.2 See, so let me assume this is the minimum value for now. Maximum value I could see is 3.7, 3.7, 4.3. anything in the full range? 4.3, yes. 4.6 also we have. And uh, anything more than that? So let me assume this is the maximum. Let's assume if it even if it is wrong assumption, that should be fine. So with that, let's create the classes now. The initial starts with two. So we'll have class from two to two point five. Two point five to three. Three point five to four. Please pay attention here how I am creating this class. Four point four point five to five. Since the maximum is four point six, that should be enough for me. It is a mistake here, right? Three. I should start from three to three point five. So let me correct it. Three to three point five. Three point five to four. Four to four point five. Then four point five to five. This is the classes I have. Okay. Let's start the tally. Two point six will come here. Three point zero will come. Here 3.7 will come here, 3.2 will come here, 2.2 will come here, 4.1 comes here, 3.5 comes here, 4.5 comes here, 3.5 comes here, 2.3 comes here, 3.2 comes here. 3.4 also comes here, 3.8 comes here, 3.2 comes here, 4.6 comes here. This is a mistake I made. 4.1 will not come here, it will come here. Okay. 4.1, actually, you see, it should come here. 3.7 comes here, 2.5 comes here, 4.4 will come here, 3.4 will come here, 3.3 will also come here, 3.3 is 2.9, 2.9, 2.9 will come here, 3.0 will come here, 4.3 will come here, 2.8 come here, 3.5 here, 3.2 here, 3.9 here, 3.2 here, 3.2 here, 3.1 here, 3.7 here, 3.8 Four, three point four will be here. Four point six will be here. Three point eight will be here. Three point two will be here. Two point six here. Three point five here. Four point two will be here. Two point nine here. Three point six will be here. So if you see the values here, this is two. This is six. This is 14, this is 11, this is 4, and this is 3. Add this 8 plus 14, 22, 23, 37, and 14. And we have this number is matching. That means we are correct. Now, with this data, I mean, this is what we asked to. We asked to create a frequency distribution table. And with this, we can say that most of the batteries, most of the batteries, if you see, almost 25 batteries, more than 50% of the batteries last three to four years few batteries very few batteries last 
two to two point five years. Very few battery actually last four point five to five years. The average lifespan for this battery is three to four years. So with this data is actually used by the battery manufacturer. So they want to claim what is the average life of the battery. So they can't claim five years. They can't claim two years. Right? So they have to try this and then with a sample of data and then they can conclude that the maximum life is. I mean the average life is three to four years. So they can say that okay, the battery life is three to four years. So they can give the guarantee of three years to the battery. Okay, a very good application of statistics in day to day life. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.